update on uh, the status of Brad and Nurk where they are right now? Well, it's questionable for tomorrow. Did, yep. they, did they do anything with that? Nope. The Nurk uh, stayed off the ankle, and uh, you know, Brad just had his, uh, his hand wrapped. What would you guys do today, I guess, in the next question for practice? Yeah, we just smelled the gym some. We had a spirited film session this morning. Uh, you know, made sure we held guys accountable for how we played last game and got over here and got a good sweat in and covered Denver. What are those couple of things that are high There's some elements of our defense that are not up to par that we hit them on and, uh, and our turnovers and our passing. Got to improve our passing. And we talk about our, our shot makers all we want. If we don't pass the ball better and take care of the ball better uh, than we do, then, you know, it's going to be a struggle for us. Welcome adversity, you know. I, no, no, no better motivator than a loss, right? So, you know, the uh, the game last game, hopefully sharpens us. The schedule coming up, hopefully sharpens us. Um, still got to position ourselves to try to get in that top six. Uh, we still feel like we can do it, but um, you know, the the opponents that we have coming up, we're gonna have to be at our best. And you know, I think in the, in the long run, the big picture, we're gonna look back and see that this stretch, stretch is one that. Uh, really sharpen us going into the playoffs. You mentioned sharpening them. Uh, Katie just talked about that after that loss, that the team, they've really felt that. What have you seen from that just in their coming out today? And yeah, our, our film session, you know, wasn't pleasant. And, uh, and our work today was very spirited. But in a positive, you know, once we got on the court and smelled the gym, you know, we know we let a, an opportunity go. We missed an opportunity. And uh, we're very focused getting, in, uh, get, getting back to work and getting ready for tomorrow. Tighten up the, the areas of the defense that I called out today and uh, tighten up our passing. We've got to, we've got to improve there. Uh, obviously, we, we beat these guys last time uh, we played them, so they'll be gunning for us, A, but we're confident that we can beat them. When you look at this, even the fact that I find it interesting talking about the defense and that last play, they got the three off on. The boys have to help. Good D. It's a good D for, uh, for that guy, for that shooter. Uh, who's not a bad, you know, he's a 31% guy, but we want to we want to plug off of him and then contest late. You know, he was 0 for 6 on the night. It's good D. Tip your cap to him. He played a great game, not just that shot. Sohan killed us. Okay, we didn't, we didn't, honestly, we didn't respect him enough inside the three. Okay, we want to play off him some because, you know, for guys that we want the ball to find, but uh, to his credit, you know, he took the, took the ball to us in the lane and we had no resistance for him in there. He was disappointed do on the floor and I think that'll speak for us more than whatever I got to say right now or coach got to say or every player is about what we do on the floor so it's just like we can talk all we want to and if we don't transfer it then talk is means nothing. Out to you about this. I know they have a few, few guys that are uh, questionable right there. Yeah, we do too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a championship organization. They know how to play the game. They got an identity, and everybody knows what it is. They play together on both ends. So, uh, and it's a tough environment to play. So, looking forward to the challenge, though. I mean, we got an on, on, uh, ongoing dialogue about what we need to do as individuals, and we know sometimes you don't even need to talk, and you know how this game went. And guys were frustrated, and it was quiet on the bus going to the airport, you know, so you know guys felt this loss. So that's what you want, you know, for us to actually feel emotions for the game, and we've been doing that all season. And like I said earlier, regardless of what we say or how much talking we're doing, it's about what we're going to do on the floor. And I think this team has done a solid job over the season of bouncing back. Uh, yeah, I would say our turnovers, I mean, we had too many, you know, especially from the first game to that game. Um, and then, you know, a couple easy transition defensive baskets we gave up, gave up too many. And then, you know, just in a, on the half court end, just executing and taking care of the ball. How much has the team 
we talked about that, the conversations of just the turnovers and how that's kind of been an issue this season? Uh, I mean, we talk about it all the time. I mean, we try to, you know, the number one emphasis on coming in the games. We know, you know, we got to take care of the ball. We take care of the ball, you know, good things happen. And, you know, it's hard for us to, you know, lose games. We don't turn the ball over, so. You've been a steady force getting into a rhythm for your team. How have you felt that you've been able to make an impact since joining? Uh, I felt good. I mean, uh, you know, just game by game, you know, whatever I got to do for us to win. Uh, you know, trying to catch rhythm, you know, help these guys out any way I can, whether I'm knocking down shots, you know, playmaking, or, you know, just playing defense, whatever I got to do for us. And finally, facing off against the Nuggets tomorrow, they, they have some key guys that are questionable right now, but what stands out to you about this Nuggets team? Uh, they're a tough team. I mean, defend the chips. We know it's going to be a tough game coming in. I mean, uh, you know, we beat them last time here. Try to do it again. Um, we're going to focus on ourselves and play our game.